Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. Welcome to part 14. In the last video, we differentiated the difference between keyword collections and our smart collections up here. In this video, we're going to go ahead and play around with our keyboard shortcuts. This is probably the most helpful in terms of sorting and organizing. Uh, the more clips you have, the more this is going to help out. What I'm talking about is this little button right here. You can open it up with a, what's the keyboard shortcut? I'm sure it's something with a K. Yeah, there it is. Command K. We can open this up. Just like that. So in the last video, we created three keywords. We had from all of our media. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. Just like that. Am I on a clip? Start from the top. We created three keywords from all of our clips in our event. We had arcade, Elgato, and selfie. I'm going to go ahead and create one more. What else do I have in here? I've got clips from a brewery. Now I'm going to go ahead and just do a right click, or you can do the keyword shortcut as well. And I'm going to type in brewery. So... In terms of, in the last video, what we did to add a clip to a keyword, we just dragged and dropped. You could also just go ahead and click on a specific clip and say we want this GoPro footage 1961. And you could just start to type in uh, one of your keyword collections. It is cap sensitive. So if you wanted to do arcade, we would do capital A and it would auto populate just like that. If you wanted to also add it to brewery uh, separated by a comma type in capital B just like that but I don't want to do that nope that is not what I want to do let's go ahead and get the rid of those so that's another way of adding our clips to keywords but more importantly what I want to do is talk about our keyword shortcuts like I said again there's no right or wrong in terms of your folder structure it's really just whatever makes sense to you my biggest thing is just to always have my libraries on an external hard drive I don't want these on my Macintosh HD eating up all my storage so what I'm going to do Back to our keyword collection shortcuts. I'm gonna go ahead and create a shortcut for, no, I'm gonna delete, what was the B? Auto populated that one. Go ahead and delete that. So I've got my four right here. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and create keyword shortcuts. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead, for each one of my keyword collections, I'm gonna go ahead and add it in here. And it's got the shortcut right here of control one, control two, all the way up to nine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type in arcade. That'll be our first keyword shortcut. Two will be brewery. I'm just going by alphabetical order. Uh, El Gato, two words separated by just a space. You can do an underscore, live your life. And then selfie. All of the selfie footage I have of that will be control four, just like that. And separate it by a space. And there we go. If you close it, open it up, they should still all be there. So what I want to do is I have all this brewery footage. Well, instead of dragging and dropping, what I want to do is I just want to go ahead and hit uh, control two. Just like that. And you see that? And it's got that blue line right there. We talked about that in the last couple of videos. Blue line means it's been added to keywords. Green, uh, green line means it's been added to a favorite. Red means rejected. Purple means it's been added to one or more keywords. And orange is that it's currently being used. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just with all of my brewery clips, I'm going to do control two, control two, and control two. And if you want to get rid of it, what you do is just hit control zero and it'll get rid of that keyword collection. You see that little animated poof right there. And if you just want to do a portion of a specific clip, what I'll do is I'll do uh, I on the keyboard for mark in and then I'll do O to mark out. And within here, I'll go ahead and hit control two. Now it's going to bring just that portion of it in. So you can clip out some of the dead weight, the stuff you do not need. Now let's go to brewery and there it is. That's the quick clip. Some random guy I was filming with my GoPro when I was at a brewery down in North Park. All right, guys, good luck with that. Hopefully that made sense. So pretty much again, a little recap, all my keyword collections, I give them all keyword shortcuts. Or if you have thousands of keyword collections, uh, I would just have these keywords set to whatever you're working on or maybe whatever you have the most of. Good luck with this. I'll see you guys in the next video.